Hi, and welcome to this week's web design video blog. This week we're giving a brief introduction to 301 redirects and showing you how to implement some basic 301s with HT Access, PHP, and also ASP. If you didn't already know, a 301 status code is used to indicate that a page has moved permanently to a new location or URL. So if you're changing your domain name of your entire website, or just a few URLs of pages, your visitors don't need to be presented with 404 not found errors when they browse your website. And unlike many other redirecting techniques with JavaScript or meta refresh tag, a correctly implemented 301 redirect is SEO friendly. The simplest and most effective way to redirect your web pages is with an HD access file. Let's check this technique out first. So if you simply start by making an HD access file on the remote view of your website, uh, to do this in Dreamweaver, just create a new file and save the file as .htaccess. Now because this file extension starts with a dot, it's a system file, you may not automatically be able to see it locally or even on the remote view of your server. In Dreamweaver, if you're struggling to see the file, simply click on, let's just bring this over, on the file tab, there's a view option, and you want to make sure that show hidden files is selected. Once you've made the file, you can double click it and it will download it and open it automatically locally for you so that you can edit the contents. What I'd also recommend doing for security purposes is uh, setting the permissions of this file or doing the CHMOD or CHMOD as some people pronounce it to 664. So this ensures security wise that your HTTP access file can't be uh, overwritten by hackers. So you'll see that uh, in creating a blank file, my dream has automatically uh, added some HTML markup. So you can simply delete this, and from here on in, you can just treat the file as a simple TXT file. So um, I've got all the code here that you'll also be able to find on the supporting blog post to explain a few different techniques for doing the 301s on your website, depending on what you're looking to redirect. But the first thing that you want to have on your HTAccess file is to ensure that the system flag for the rewrites is switched on. So I'm just going to uh, copy and paste this as the first line on our HTAccess file. Any of these uh, lines of code that you see with the hashes are obviously just comments, so you don't need to bring those across to your HTAccess file. So the first example then is if you were looking to redirect a domain name to a new domain name. This is a simple one line piece of code that would take any uh, any element of the old domain name, if you were to search for the home page or a, if you were to land on a category page, and it would simply take you to the root layer of the new domain name. So you'd bring this across and you'd upload this file after obviously updating to your new domain name to the root layer of your old website domain. So you leave the hosting enabled and upload that to the server. Anyone that comes onto the website, even if you've left all the old files alongside the HTXS file, They'll be redirected away to the new domain name. Whenever a server generates a web page, a request, it always checks the HTTP access file first, so it would simply redirect anybody looking for anything on that domain name to the new domain name. If, for example, you want to take your 301 one step further, let's say you had an About Us page on your old website, and it's perhaps at a new URL on the new website, you can actually redirect people that are requesting that page to the uh, counterpart page on your new website. So that's where the second line comes into play. So if we were to use the about example, let's say on our old domain name, the file was simply called about.html, but on our new WordPress website, it's simply forward slash about. That would take anybody searching for the old domain name, the old about page, to the new domain name's about page. And you can simply copy and paste this line for each individual page that you're looking to redirect. There is one third alternative that's a really clever way of 301ing your domain name, particularly if your new website contains all the old files and URLs from the old website. So if you're just changing your domain name to a new domain name, perhaps for a rebranding purpose or an SEO uh, experiment, then what you want to do is use these two lines of code because you don't have to produce all of the 301s that you can see here where you're mapping individual pages. This will do all of them automatically for you so long as the URLs are the same on the old domain name 
and the new domain name. So what this essentially does is it takes the request of the old domain name, it takes away all of the new domain name and basically appends the difference. So the everything after the forward slash adds it to a new domain name and 301s them to there. So if I had on my old domain name a lengthy uh, URL for a uh, WordPress blog post, for example, forward slash category forward slash postname.php, it would simply take that uh, latter part of the URL, the category and the, and the uh, post name, and it would put it on the new domain name. So these two simple lines here will redirect all of your old pages to your to the uh, new domain names uh, pages. So as we mentioned, all of this code is available to copy and paste from the supporting blog post. Although the HTaccess is the best way to manage and implement your 3 on redirects, not all web hosting allows you to create and edit this file on the server. There are, however, equally effective methods performing a 3 one with both PHP and ASP respectively. Let's take a look. So if your server doesn't support HTaccess files or you're looking for the 3, uh, 301 alternative in PHP or ASP, then all you do is open the page that you're looking to redirect to a new URL or a new domain name and add the following to header declarations in PHP. These will create the same status of 301 and redirect the browser and the search engines respectively to your new location of your file. So you'd have to open up each individual PHP page on your old website, add in the 301 and it would take you to the new URL. Same thing can be done in ASP and ASP.NET. I don't know too much about these two scripts, but if you're creating an ASP website, you can copy and paste these codes accordingly. Thank you for watching this week's web design video blog. Don't forget you can find all of the code from the video on our supporting blog post below.